fellow crafters and paper artisans it's Chandra with stock and stuff I am here doing the craft vault video response it's the collaboration that poet spice and other crafters are doing where you um, use items that you haven't used before or that have been in your stash for over six months so I had so many February birthdays this month so I have been making lots of cards and um, so I usually use some type of card design or layout and I just thought I'd play around with some things and just do my own, figure out my own card layout. So I like the way it came out. So this is a birthday card for my brother who is double nickels this year, this week actually. And um, he also works in a casino. So I started off saying, I'm going to make these like playing cards and then I decided oh, I'm just going to add hearts all over using my crafters companion stencil that I love so much. Now this is a new product but I have been using it a lot this month for February in different ways. So I did do the middle stencil here on the background of the cards um, and then I these are cut out of uh some old Stampin' Up! Big Shot. This is the large numbers die set. And um, I just pulled some blue paper out of my stash, out of my stack. I don't know what kind of paper it is. Um, it was one of those like eight by eight packs that you get at Tuesday morning that I've had forever. And I just looked for some colors I like. This yellow uh, paper is a 110 that is... Um, I think it's a Park Lane printed from Joann's and it comes in, I think it has five different colors and designs in it and I just have had it for a while. So I pulled that out. This is a die that's not, I don't think it's six months old, but I had never used it before. And so I did use that and I just used the same blue. So I was just trying to use, see how much of that eight by eight piece of paper I could use. And then I just went over it with white um, cardstock out of my stash. I mean, out of my um, scrap box, actually. Actually, all of the white pieces are from my scrap box. And then on the inside, again, I used the rest of that eight by eight. So I pretty much used all but about a two by, I think it might be, a one by two inch piece of paper and um, I use this was the first time using this I use the Spellbinders clear stamps it is I don't think it has a name but it's just different words you put together so I did um, for my wonderful crazy brother because he is he makes me laugh so much and then I use my picket fences and I did you are my kind of person um, and then I have a little Technique Tuesday stamp that I didn't bring over for the video. And in that same stamp, it's like a Happy Mail stamp. It had a laughing emoji and a heart. So I decided to just add those to your my kind of person. I did use my stencil on the background there as well so that it has some consistency with the front of the card. So I am really pleased with how it came out. And I hope my brother loves it. And I, I like this yellow, the way that design is. It reminds me of sunshine. So um, I thought that would be a cute card to send out to Nevada for my brother's big birthday this year. So I just wanted to share. This again is the Craft Vault collab. And I'm doing a video response. I'm not one of the main collaborators. And it is with Poet Spice. And uh, you can see the other collaborators by using the hashtag Poet Spice 2021. Thanks for watching.